this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome to Into the Fire, the incredibly talented, super nice guy, a future star of the AFL, and most importantly, new Adelaide Pro, Jackson Hayley. LJ, nice Jackson. great to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. It's a pleasure. It's been a busy year, hasn't it, Jackson? How excited are you that you are now back home and playing for the pros? Yeah, it's, it's been an incredible year for, you know, a very tough year for a lot of people. Um, but, yeah, for me to be back here in South Australia and be a part of this Adelaide Crows team, something I couldn't, couldn't be happier with. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm training with the boys now and getting stuck into it, so now I'm excited to keep building on that. Yeah, it would be cool. Who did you grow up barracking for? And do you have any players you really modelled your game around? I was actually a big Collingwood supporter growing up, so a bit funny being from South Australia, but my my dad was a big Collingwood supporter, and so I didn't really have a choice growing up. Um, and so my my favourite player that I've always tried to take bits and pieces from is Scott Pendlebury. So he's, he's someone who, he played a lot of basketball growing up, and I played a fair bit of basketball too, and he's someone that, you know, he's obviously a superstar player of the game, and He's one that I really you know, admire, his composure and his skill and leadership, so he's one that I, I look up to. Yeah, he would be very good to talk to and he's got a lot of experience too. Absolutely. Yeah. Before we get into the Crows, let's just have a look at you, Jackson, over the last three years. Now, let's start with something I know. You're an incredibly talented basketballer and I know you had to make the decision between the two sports. What made you make the choice? It was a very tough call. Um, I... Yeah, I was probably around that 16, 17 years old age where a lot of the boys have to have to decide. There's a, there's a few boys that um, are talented at, at a couple of sports. And for me, the, the thing that I like the most about footy is just that, that team aspect. I think, you know, I still love basketball, but for me, basketball felt felt more like, a, like an individual kind of game. It's still obviously, you know, an important team sport, but there's only five players on the court at one time. And, um, I just didn't think it quite had that same culture that, that footy has. So that was a big one for me and, and in the end I think I just loved footy more. So I think you have to do what you really, really love and um, I think for me I just I just love footy and still do so that's why I chose it. And I'm glad you did choose it. <laughs> Thank you. Now you had an outstanding tournament in the under 18 championships that led you to being named the All Australian team. Was it now you thought I might have something? Yeah, no, it was, and um, that whole year was, was an amazing year, and, and winning that um, state championship with, with South Australia was was incredible, and that was um, you know one of my favourite football memories to date um, still. So, yeah, that was that was you know an exciting time, and you know a time where you start talking to clubs and you start realising how this you know it might be more than just a dream that you know it could could come true one day. So, yeah, that was a very exciting time. Yeah, it would be. Now, you played in the championships with three SA boys that went top five in the 2018 draft. Isaac Rankin, Jack Lukosius and Connor Rosen. I've been lucky to chat to all of those guys and they are legends. Do you still keep in contact with those boys? I do keep in contact with them a little bit, yeah. I, um, I, I was pretty close with Isaac Rankin. We used to play a bit of basketball against each other and, uh, and go back and forth. And we had some pretty uh, feisty games against each other on the basketball court. but. We ended up becoming um, pretty close friends um, as, as footballers and you know we, we still keep in touch and, and Connor and Jack as well I've seen on the field over the last couple of years and I'm sure I'll see, see more of them um, on the field going forward so um, you know all three of those are yeah unbelievable players but they're all unbelievable people as well so um, yeah very lucky to have come through with, with those guys. Yeah they're great guys. Now from there you went pick 14 in the draft to the GWS. Did you know they were picking you up? And how were the feelings knowing you were about to move from home, knowing that you're a big family person? Mm, yeah, I actually, I didn't know they were gonna pick me up. So right until the pick happened, I didn't know it was, I knew that, you know, that there was a chance I would go there. Um, you know, Port were in the, in the mix, um, Geelong were around there. So I probably had it narrowed down to three or four clubs that it was gonna be. Um, but yeah, you know, once I, I got drafted with the Giants, I was stoked. I was, I was really happy to go anywhere. Um, and so, yeah, obviously, you know, my family probably didn't think they were going to get me back. And, um, you know, here we are now. But 
Um, you know, at the time I was I was more than happy to, to go anywhere and you know I just wanted to, to start that, that football dream. Yeah. Now quick questions on this year, mate. What was it like being in a hub? Although a unique experience, it's probably one no one liked after a while, I'm presuming. Um yeah, the hubs were they were a bit of a challenge. It was it was a bit of a novelty early on, so that you, you get set up in a in a hotel and you think, oh, this is this is pretty cool, and you're with all the boys, so you know that's pretty fun. But you know, after doing it for a couple of months, you, you sort of start, oh, I wouldn't mind, you know, being back home here and you know cooking my own food. We we couldn't really cook any food. We were, you know, and that's another thing that was a novelty at the start, getting all the buffet food. But you know, after a little bit, you just came to cook your own meals. Um, so yeah, the hub definitely had some challenges and. You know, some boys found that, that pretty tough, um, but yeah, hopefully we don't have to do too many hubs going forward. Yeah. <laughs> now, you spent two years at the GWS, GWS and played 13 games with them. How was your time there? Um, was it a bit sad leaving? Yeah, I think it's always sad um, leaving places, but you know, I'm obviously, I was more excited than sad um, because I was, you know, just so keen to come here, which I, you know, I still am and still so great to be here. Um, but no, I really enjoyed my, my two years with the Giants and um, you know, there was a lot of, and there still is a lot of good you know, midfielders and players of that club, um, you know, stars of the competition and you know, while that might have made it hard for me to, to get a game sometimes, I've got no doubt that you know, these two years would have you know, really you know, hold me in good stead going forward and I've learned a lot of those guys and you know, I'm super thankful for my time with the Giants and um, yeah, I really think it's gonna gonna help me going forward. Yeah. Now leaving the Giants, I'm sure it was a big decision that weighed heavily on you. Ultimately, what was it like? What was it that brought you to making that decision? Um, oh, there was there was a couple of factors. I think opportunity was a big one for me. Um, so you know, at the Giants, I mainly played on a wing when I sort of played AFL and. Um, I definitely see myself as more of an inside midfielder. Um, so, opportunity was a big one. Um, you know, it's great being back here with the family. Um, Matty Nix was a was a coach of the Giants for a year, so you know, I already had a really good relationship with him. Um, so, yeah, there, there was lots of factors. I think the main one was definitely that that opportunity. Um, but you know, there's certainly other things that are, are really positive about coming here, such as the family and, and being back home and at home. Yeah, good answer. Okay, so as a first round draftee, a six foot three midfielder with elite talent, the Crows are a lucky team. When did you know they were actually interested in getting to you to the club? Um, I probably found out maybe a couple of months, um, sort of towards the end of the year. So my manager and you know, it's just common with players, the managers will, will speak to the clubs um, throughout the year and you know, I was sort of just focused on, on the season, so you know, I sort of came in contact with my manager, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm still there to, to play footy, so that's my number one focus. And uh, but you know, as, as the season progresses, and you know, the reality of footy is, you know, players are, are out of contract, and um, you know, it's like like anything, you have to start, you know, looking for you know um, a new job if if that's what you know your heart wants to do. So. I had those, you know, thoughts with a couple of months to go on the season that, you know, potentially a move was, was on the cards and um, yeah, my manager let me know the Crows were a team that was, you know, very interested and yeah, we went from there. Yeah. So you are now officially a Crow. Congrats on that, buddy. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's exciting. What are, what, what are you looking forward to most? I think just just the young group that it is. I'm I'm really excited to, to build something special with the young group that the Crows have got. Um, you know, I've I've been in there for a couple of days now, and um, there's a lot of good young talent around there that are really good players and good people. And you know, there's still those those old players there as well to help guide the guide the group. And um, I'm really excited to just build something special with the group. Yeah, it's really good to see that they're doing the young. Yeah, no, absolutely. They're, they're all very impressive young, young boys. Yeah, they are. Have you had a chance to catch up with the players yet? I bet you can't wait to get into the club. Yeah, I have. So I got into the club yesterday. So as soon as it was official, I was in there uh, training with the boys. And then was in again today. So I've probably met nearly nearly all the boys now. Some of the older boys are uh, coming back after Christmas. But So I've spoken to, to Sloaney. I've, I've met Sloaney and, and Tex. And, 
uh, Tommy Dude, Wayne Malira. Um, so I've met I've met plenty of the boys now, um, and and plenty of the young boys too are, are rippers as well. Yeah, they are. So what number are we putting on our backs, Jackson? Do you know yet? I'm I'm not sure. You know, I, I yeah, I wish I could tell you, but I I don't have that just yet. Nothing nothing's official. So hopefully that all uh, all comes out in the next couple of days, and um, yeah, everything gets all official. Yeah. Okay. Some quick fire questions. What are your dance moves like? I hear they're pretty good. <laughs> My dance moves are terrible. <laughs> I'm not sure who's giving me that, but they must know that that's something that, that I'm very, very much not, not my strong point. <laughs> I won't reveal my sources. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> what do you like to do outside of footy? I uh, still like playing basketball, so I still like getting shots up and um, you know, wherever I can find a ring, I, I like you know shooting around. Um, I love getting down to the beach. Um, you know, I love love getting in the ocean and, and chilling out at the beach, and um, you know, I listen to music and just hanging out with mates and all that. That sounds like some pretty good things. Yeah. Where would you take your girlfriend for a special date? Oh, that's a that's a good question. Um, so in Sydney, so my girlfriend's from Sydney. Um, we went to a, a place, our favourite place was called Toddy's. Um, so that's a, a nice sort of Italian place in Sydney. That's probably, that was our favourite place there, but if you've got any recommendations for some, some Adelaide places uh, to take her, then I'm all ears. There's quite a few good wineries around. There is, that's true. I actually uh, I should take her somewhere in the Barossa, that's uh, near where I'm from, so maybe I'll have to treat her to something nice there. Yeah. What is your golf game? <laughs> my golf game's about as good as my dancing moves. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite quite poor. I haven't I haven't played too much golf, and when I do, I I struggle to hit the ball. So <laughs> it's something that I would like to get better at. But at the moment, it's, it's a bit like my dancing. Okay. <laughs> what video game are you best at? Um. Oh, probably I like more of the, the sporting games. I like the the 2K. Um, that's you know probably my, my favourite game. I'm not a I'm not a huge gamer, but if I do if I do play, I probably enjoy playing 2K the most. Yeah. Should I get on your Supercoach? Oh, well, so I I think so. I'm not sure what sort of price I'll be at the old Supercoach, but um yeah, see how you go. Um yeah, hopefully you can get a few of us young crows boys in there and, and we can do well for you. Yeah, I will. Well, Jackson, now that you're back in Adelaide and this year. Something you do becomes much more critical. You're elite, so that's not an issue. You like a goal, and that's important. But it's something else that worries me. You see, being that you'll be a star, you need a celebration for goals that suit the champion you are. Well, don't worry, I have it. Dude. It's the end of the final. Oh, is that the one? Is that right? Oh, is right. that right? You nailed that one. Oh, oh, I might have to bring that out one game. Yeah, you will. What is it, this? Hey, I, I'm actually been looking for a celebration, so that could well, be on the cards. Right. Thanks for that. That's okay. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, Jackson, for chatting to me today. Congrats on your move to the cruise, and I can't wait to chat to you in the future. I'm looking forward to it, LJ. Thanks for having me so Thanks much. Again, I, I really enjoyed it. Talk Thanks, soon. Sir.